Water is fundamental for the existence of life on Earth. And our species, like all the others who populate the planet, needs this resource to survive and develop. But water, besides being a limited natural resource and being unequally distributed, has fallen significantly in quality in the last few decades due to human activities. And a large part of the world's population suffers a lack of water. The oceans hold 97% of the water on the planet. Could we use them to cover our needs in a responsible way? Techniques to desalinate seawater have been around for many years. But only recently has the development of new technologies managed to make them efficient and more environment friendly. The desalination plant in Javia, located on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea, is a clear example of how it is possible to transform seawater into potable water while minimizing the environmental impact. Salt water is taken from 10 300 meter deep wells located near the sea and it is then pumped to the plant. Various filtration processes eliminate any organic substances present in the water. This partially treated water then moves on to the inverse osmosis membranes where the desalination takes place. Inverse osmosis is a physico-chemical process in which waters with different concentrations of salt are separated by a semi-permeable membrane. By raising the pressure on the side with the greater salt concentration, water passes through to the side with the lower concentration. After it passes through the membrane, this very pure water must be remineralized and chlorinated in order to be considered apt for human consumption. After being remineralized, the water is stored in tanks from where it is distributed to the supply network. This plant has a production capacity of 28,000 cubic meters a day, enough to supply a city of approximately 150,000 inhabitants. The Javia plant is a pioneering facility in the treatment of the brine left behind after the inverse osmosis process water that has a high concentration of salt. This treatment consists of diluting this very salty water with seawater in tanks to minimize the environmental impact when this rejected water is returned to the sea. The result has been the conservation of the marine ecosystem throughout the whole area of influence of the desalination plant. The Javier desalination plant is a clear example of how research and development allow us to make the most of the planet's natural resources in the continuous quest for sustainable development.